Okay, thank you for watching. This is not a attempt at a professional YouTube video. This will be raw, uncut, and not edited. Here we go. I'm just sharing with you why I have so many bit cases. It's because I really like the cases. The bits inside are okay. Some of the bits that have the yellow, the torque, the tough grip, whatever, these are okay. The bits right here with the black tips, kind of cheesy. The ones right here is that regular kind of soft metal. It's okay, but the cases are phenomenal, and I like the fact that the DeWalt cases work with the Craftsman cases. Same thing with these medium-sized cases. All the cases connect, and what I like about them is the fact that I'm going to utilize the cases to insert other things inside the cases. So most of these will have no bits in there and I will utilize them to hold other things, other objects inside the case. And the fact that they lock together is phenomenal. I have not seen these cases empty. If some of you know where I can purchase these cases empty, I would do that. But until then, I just tried to get them as cheap as I can. Like this particular pack is like $24.99. So that's six dollars and some change per case. I don't mind that. Each time I buy these, I try to purchase them no more than seven to eight dollars per case. Sometimes there may be nine, but less than that because my focus is the case and not the contents or the bits inside. So most of you might have seen my previous videos where everything stacks together far as the T stack and the Versa stack, but same thing with the big cases. So you have the Milwaukee case. And as you see that little line there, the little indention in the bottom, that actually fits in with the top of this. So I'm trying to do this with one hand. And once again, the attempt is not for this to be a professionally edited video. So you slide it back and the latch for the bottom case is going to lock into the bottom of the top case. And so with that latched and then with that little insert in place, it makes the cases latch together. That is awesome for me because whether I'm doing some of the electronics or other things, whatever can fit in this case, I can latch them together so I can build another system without using the bits inside the case. I think that's very awesome. I just figured I would show that, share that with you guys. Whatever ideals you come up with, please uh, share it uh, with my channel or hit me up in some kind of way. That way I can see the ideals because I really enjoy sharing and also partaking in the ideals that you guys have on YouTube. Now this particular case here, same thing. You can take the case and this also has that little ridge and then you insert these into that ridge and same thing you use the bottom latch once you have it right oh the top latch do have to be up and out the way so the bottom latch can connect so so now we have this on here Craftman is currently utilizing these uh, cases to insert other types of tools, not just bits. So when you go into Lowe's, you can see Craftman with sockets and bits, a combination of sockets and bits inside these small cases, these small cases, and these medium-sized cases. So far, I've only seen Craftsman utilizing these cases for other purposes besides bits. But I'm quite sure that's going to catch on. But this is awesome. All right. Let's see. Oh, I have it on the wrong way. I'm new to all this, guys. So bear with me and all the novice type of setup. So once again, we latch the bottom. And everything is latched on here. So... That is why I have so many big cases because I really enjoy the cases and I can see a lot of future projects being uh, utilizing these cases. So thank you very much and you have a great day.